6 has been instrumental in pushing House Bill 33 for more than a year. It would make texting and driving a primary offense instead of a secondary one like it is now. Last year, state lawmakers stonewalled the bill, saying the data just wasn't there. Show me the data that, draw, that, that these types of laws truly work in states, and I have a very open mind to it. So we gave them that data along with some of our stories about the dangers of distracted driving from our town hall earlier this year. And this morning, Matt Austin told his story to lawmakers pleading with them to pass this bill and protect drivers across the state from the dangers of distracted driving. He joins us now live from Tallahassee. And Matt, we all watched your emotional plea this morning. How did it feel to take on the role of advocate? Well, it was strange for me, and it's rather intense. It was on the fourth floor of the House building, and this is the Judiciary Committee. So they call your name, you walk up to the podium, and about 15 lawmakers are sitting in front of you, most of them lawyers, by the way, and you talk, and they listen. And I must say, these lawmakers seemed very receptive to not just my speech, but victims' families who were there as well talking to them. Here's a little bit of what I had to say. My name is Matt Austin. I'm actually a news anchor in Central Florida. I know you guys and us don't always have the greatest of conversations, but I'm now here in front of you today with a little bit of a sickening feeling. Journalists aren't supposed to push for bills. I'm not supposed to be here in front of you. But today I am not in front of you as a journalist. Today I am here as a dad. Now the driver in my case admitted to police that he was texting. Right? So. He didn't even hit the brakes, and when he hit my car, the trunk looked like a pancake, and he almost made it to the cage of my back seat, which is where my three daughters are usually sitting. It's about time the Florida legislature takes this crisis seriously. Give police officers the ability to do their job, and give distracted drivers a good reason to put their phones down. And what's very special about this bill Nobody's going to take you to dinner, nobody's going to give you flowers, but you can sleep very well knowing that you protected the people who voted for you. Now, I had a lot of mixed emotions coming into this. I wasn't sure about it going into the meeting. Representative Emily Slosberg told me she was expecting maybe three or four no votes on that committee, but after they heard the testimony, there was only one no vote. So this bill goes on in both the House and the Senate, and we are still driving change right here on News 6. Ladies, back to you. Matt, great work up there. Thank you so much. We will check back in with you coming up at 4.30. And to read more about our efforts in Tallahassee, the details of the bill, and to see how you can share your story, head to clickorlando.com slash driving change.